<laughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see anything. I'm going. Good, right? Good. That I can pick out on the uh, minutes from last week. I like the borderline.
and, uh, and which is what he did at the time when we, when we went through our uh, the proceeding with the board. I mean, you, it was it was funny that they went to the board. No, and I agree with that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, candidly, I, I it wouldn't be on the top ten of the news if I was listening to them. Um, but you know, it's it's strange. It's probably time to to uh, to file again. I've not heard the man that wrote in quite some time, so I don't know what it looks like. His looks like right now. But if it was, it goes between being awful and being fine. And kind of, what what is, what situation is it in now? About the same as possible <laughs> with the vehicles. And I mean, I know, and I mean, I know this doesn't have anything to do with the ordinance, but. I know of at least two times, one being either last week or the week before that, you know, he's been in possession of stolen vehicles and I don't know how nothing ever happens to him. I just, I don't understand. Have you called the sheriff about that? Yeah, I'd be reporting those. The but, well, the sheriff's department actually came out and had one towed. It was the one that was in the paper just recently that was stolen in Fort or Uh But, you know, I mean, that's a separate issue, but I mean, that leads to those type of issues when the property's, you know, allowed to be like that, you know, in violation of the ordinance, in my opinion. You know, so. What does our ordinance, do we have kind of an ordinance mean that has a guideline for that? And I know part of our, part of the issue deals with lack of personnel to the environmental services. Yeah. Um, I may be able to address part of that for you. Um, the, they are restructuring. Okay. Um, hopefully, they will get restructured to the point that they'll be able to, you know, maybe get somebody even more full time and let Dennis finally retire. Yeah. Uh, what the deal was, uh, so so probably they had to be patient with them for the next three to four months. They were at one time the multi county health division that. That I sat on that board in three counties, and they were actually living off of our uh, employment number and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and but they and we were handling their funds, and doing payroll and everything for them, and we became uh, aware that we were liable if there were issues. So we basically approached them to listen. This this marriage are living together or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. it's going to go apart. So they are now forming their own entity. We will still, as a county, subsidize them with, with uh, allocate our uh, allocations of some sort, appropriation that's the term we use. So hopefully we'll be able to get more inspection, you know, from as far as that goes. Because Dennis yeah. just can't, I mean, he covers pretty big areas. Sure. On several issues, not just that. Yeah, know, yeah, so. yeah that's <laughs> just, yeah, that's just one issue. Right. right. So, but there's a lot of good, you know, that kind of stuff that they they, they kind of prioritize that because mm -hmm. there's actually modic. I mean, they actually get permit money for that. Yeah. So that's where they're going to emphasize, you know. So, anyway. so I I just want okay. to update you on. Okay, well, I just kind of want to touch base, you know, because it's been a while, and, you know, hopefully soon. <laughs> and is there any way that, like, outside of, like, just utilizing Northeast Kansas, like, you get a little more teeth, where we could start well, enforcing with stuff? Well, anybody could. I mean, I, I guess uh, uh, the sheriff's office could. Uh, but they have to have some guidelines or something. I mean, we have to be careful as we're directing we go do that. I mean, there needs to be some kind of protocol or some kind of guideline. That yeah, I, I think it makes sense to have uh, uh, Northeast Kansas environmental do it. Yeah. But somebody else could, I mean, which I thought was a question. Um, well, it just seems like they're always in one ball. They're, they're going to be focused in on lagoons and that's specific systems. That's frankly what they're going to be focused it's in it's on. It's, it's revenue. 
Yeah. Because when, when, when the LAPD funding quit from the state, you see that changed the whole direction of how much stuff they could really do. Yeah. And where each county, I don't think any counties are going to want up the funding. Each county is the long way. It gives them $10,000. And that will go a long way mm -hmm. without having other credentials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we necessarily answered any question. I guess uh, um, this is going to require like a visit. Is it going to require like have to go visit the site or just drive by the site, do a visual inspection, and kind of? Well, we can we we can uh, file nuisance actions. What are happening with the other properties? Have, like, well, yeah, we, we have several. Okay. We have several, and uh, um, we can file. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see because I was, I was uh, told that we had like a, I don't know if it was a littering offense. You might get more input on it. There was somebody that was charged with like a littering offense and they had to do community service. That's I was, that was just recently, it was in the last 30 days, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, that could be. I, similar lines, not quite the same, but very yeah. similar. Those, those would go through district court or Correct. through the county attorney's office. They did, yeah. Yeah, these are county. Nuisance violations would would go through this report, uh, but they would be prosecuted by by me. Okay. Uh, so we we have there there are probably a dozen properties that, that we we could file on. Um, this one I, I think would be it's on and off the list, but it, it, it's probably back on. Is it worth like taking a, a trip, you know, for a morning work session? Would it be worth trying to? We, we could. Also, uh, was it or? Yeah, I will be here next week. Oh, okay. okay. But that's, I mean, we could, we're still want to do it or we could, you know, okay. do it sometime. Uh, 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 or, or I could I could email you a spreadsheet with the list and you could go on your own if you. Uh, I do have a problem. Well, uh, it's in the afternoon of the next meeting. The uh, confirmation is that evening, so I will be out here by 2 30 or 3 years at the end of the meeting. Okay. But if we did, we won't have any problem. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, we need a, a van or something to have people work together. Is it just three of us, or are we going to go? We, we've got some of them are quite a ways. There are two of them that are ways down. Okay. So, yeah, I, we, we, we need four wheel drive. Depends what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to be here next week? I will be there. You guys can still do it. Do, can, can you tell can you all three of us? Yeah, the you are pretty of comfortable in your truck. Yeah. Yeah. You're there, we can borrow the skate. I guess it's kind of the weather. Yeah. As well as it hasn't rained real recently, it, it won't be. I mean, like right now, it's not too bad. Okay. Um, I'll talk about two cents. I'm all for it. We're on this side of the line. Like this man can do it. A year and a half and nothing has been done, or uh, we need to do whatever we need to do to get it done. Well, yeah, because the thing that did is, is you get into that habit and then you can file all you want. Know, yeah, they've opened up. Oh, well, that was one of them. What did we get that one? Two years ago, a year ago? It was that program. We need to slap some hands, put some fines out there, and we need to do something to stop them getting better. Yeah, I agree. Hear complaints about people all the time from the Western Corridor coming into mm -hmm. Atchison. So. Yeah. I, that, that area is not perfect. It is much, much improved than two years ago. Oh, I agree. It's just, you still get the same. The same complaints are still now. They want to see more. So. Okay. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Do we know what the second one is? I can't remember what the comment
something like that. I've not been able to find out exactly what it was. No, that was the vote to Ash Yes, because the Senate, the Senate, the Senate, the Senate, uh, did the Senate pass that? No. It was the House that did the House. Ashford. How did they, that must be a different bill because they already passed the one Ashford. The, the House already passed the Ashford bill.
videos and then I'd like a um, executive session if time permits on a non-elected personnel. Yeah. Okay. Um, first PO is to sandblast and repaint uh, the dump bed on um, our Sterling um, dump truck is for $800. That's everything. That, that's painting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did tell them we want to get paint. It's supposed to be Sherman Williams Industrial Paint. That's a little bad one. Yeah. And the other two guys are already on me about the other two, but I told them we're going to do this one and see how it goes. I was actually really um, happy. We'll, we'll see what kind of job we get, but that looks like pretty good. I was thinking it was going to be worthy of it. Um, Amazonia, well, Savannah, yeah. it's just outside of, it's actually a Savannah uh, address, but it's close to Amazonia. Yeah. Um, next one is for some uh, Type 3 barricades, that's the big barricades, the road closed barricades. Um, um, everybody's getting stricter on their um, MUTCD standards, and we used to use, you know, just a little sawhorse looking barricade, and just don't cut it anymore. Sure. Um, we've got uh, about six of these, but we need uh, more of them. I've got a PO National Spike Company for $1,497.80, and that's for uh, six more barricades and some traffic cones. Bridge deck repair, some concrete, and we need some cones for that. Um, the last one is a PO to Wemax for $699.70, and that is to redo our water truck. Some of the uh, big ball valves on it, uh, when we were out and getting ready to start a big project yourself with uh, FNL Edwards. I saw they replaced a bunch of culverts. So I was going through there. Yeah, they replaced a bunch of culverts. It was last ball. week. So there's quite an activity going. Yep, and uh, we're planning on starting that at some point. How many culverts are there? I must have passed like, at least four that I could count. I, I think there were six. Six, yeah. So those are the first so. Is, uh, when you put that base, is there any, is that the last one? Is there is there any opportunity to get yeah, that really just as you or are you going to Yeah, well, I. I already just got up guys we're gonna, you know, there isn't much shoulder, we're gonna do everything we can. We'll probably be able to gain a foot or so, but that's what we're gonna do. That's what I do with them. That's what I need to get a foot if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on about foot. Right, it's the same as everybody's like talking about that. That's restaurant Rollins is just trying to get those shoulders. Mm -hmm. They make all the difference in what yeah. you you get those and you're gonna be pulled. Right. So that's all I have except for yeah, um, that road have to be closed. Um, what I'm planning on doing is closing the section right through town, grind that all up, and then probably while we're grinding, we'll probably have to shut a mile at a time to, to grind it, or a half mile, however the road's like. Um, but after that, when we're laying the rock, we should be able to have the road open. People will just have to work around the construction, is what we've always done. Um, how much? Uh, I'm going to say in maybe, I'm going to say 20 minutes. What do you think, Pat? Probably. So that'd be at uh, quarter to two. A little inner executive session to discuss an audit, elected person, and all to include the commissioners, county councilor, and Matt Dorsey, who is the supervisor. Come in here at 145. Motion a second. In favor, signify the aye. Yeah, I don't know that you gain a lot by going forward a lot there. 
Because, like I said, if you happen to be coming in from the east, you should be slowing down because you once you hit the point. intersection, you should be down to should be 30 mile an hour speed limit uh, yeah. in town. There. So, yeah, I just, those are little things. I mean, those are people we're, right. we're talking about all that. Right. Stuff, so. You know, that's something we can always look at um, after it gets going. If we think there's, if we get some complaints or something, you know, yeah. we do it. Was there like any school bus stop signs that would with more traffic on there now? Would there be anybody that's going to have? I don't know where Adam's feeding any kid in or not. Um, you know, I don't know everybody that lives on that road, but just off the top of my head, I can't think of any. I know that other one too, but that was the other road. There are you know, several. There's several over there. I can't think of any on there, but if I become aware of any, yeah, I have no problem about putting up a school bus, school bus stop at a sign or whatever it takes. Um, yeah, if we need to put up some dangerous intersection signs or anything. Um, I think I think the K out yeah, needs to be other side. Y'all say something about being like that. Yeah. What did you ever come up with on the bridge? Did you come bridge replacement there on McPherson? Did you get you were looking into yeah, you missed um, um Oh, no, here's some. Yeah, the other one that's reduced. You just said we had it. Oh, um, oh they're going to be here. Husker Steel is going to meet with me. It's actually on 233. Yes, yeah. 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 Husker Steel, um, uh, Chris Adelman with Husker Steel. He's going to meet with me not this Thursday, but the next Thursday. Okay. And I'll be on Okay. okay. I think you talked about because some of your, some of your left, leftover feeding money, plus you have some savings that we'll be able to yeah, I fit the budget for the year. Yeah, if it comes in anywhere close to the 150 like he thought it would, I would be all for just having them replace it because they can get to it. They said in August, and we're going to be busy. We've already got all of our time. Um, uh, we've got projects that all our time is taken up on this year, unless we would take some off of our, okay. our project. But so, I mean, that sounds like a pretty good deal, um, probably $50,000. When will you switch over to your longer days? Uh, the guys who have actually been asking me about that, um, I told them not to all, um, the weather, um, you know, to straighten it out. Um, they were asking if we were going to do that when we started on our Edward Druid project, but um, um, I'll think of maybe another month. But the other yeah, I think always when we looked at either late April or very first part of May, once you get, it appears that we get into a cycle where you've got 60 and 70, you know, you've got good, good working. I mean, you can't control the rain part, but I mean, the temperature mm -hmm. where you guys can, you know, so I, I have a problem with that. Yeah, that's what I would. That I told them until the the weather breaks and we you know, start getting good weather. Really no sense in doing it. Right, because if you gain a little bit if you if you start like at seven in the morning, uh, another another month make a lot of difference on the amount of daylight that you've got to get started. Because right now it's 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 still a little bit at night it's like dark, but I mean it's at the park, it just starts to get a little bit daylight. So yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Just pick up a word and then be in a month. But yeah. Um, should be about five weeks now.
So the health savings plan and all that would start in 30 days. We, we contribute the money in 30 days. When we, yeah, it'd be when they start their insurance. So it'd probably be, it could be 30 to be, it's not when they start working. I second Well, yeah, it's an unusual discussion too. I guess we really haven't discussed that, but that's, people start mid year, you know, they're going to get the full health. It's a per rate. It's a per rate. It's a per rate. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Motion to second. All in favor, signify saying aye. Aye. And then also, I'd like to request, um, I'd like to hire three time, three part time employees. Um, Basically for the flagging duties and um, um, clean that up. Yeah, yeah. So I, I move we allow that. And the the budget on the summer over there. Yeah, probably about mid May. Yeah, after school. Yeah. Motion for the session. Second. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Further discussion? Hmm? It still works, I just broke the cover. I ordered, I ordered a place called National Pen, and I get my care every week. At least I get either a brand new kind of pen they're making, or a calendar, or some kind of promotion. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I got plenty of pens. That's all I had. Let me know something. Yeah, I, if, you, if I forget to call you, know I'm not going to go okay. about as of right now, I'm pretty sure he's he would allow me. He had this plan, and, and uh, the talking rain Thursday. So, and if next time I, I, I would get more. Yeah. Well, when you said that Ron wasn't going to be talking, that kind of changed my attitude because I was anxious to hear hear about. It. Yeah, when he was up last week, we looked at the roads. I asked him about that, and he said that it wasn't as far along as he would have liked. And he said that he might mention it, but he said nothing has been talking about. So. I don't recall all, all the stuff we had going on last week. We got the Dalton Bridge, we got Edmonds Road, we got a lot of We got a lot of We got a lot of I do. We have a lot of going it's good though. You can see that. I mean, people can see it. Yeah. Well, uh, to be honest with you, know, usually I have time to get out and help the guys a little bit. Um, I've been in my office most of the time. I have time to get out. Actually, I've been doing a lot of paperwork and things. And just getting logistics for everything. You know. We have the bridges and we have sides, Dolby. Do we have any other bridges that are getting replaced? Yeah, well, I guess we got the 230. You got one in here, and you got one, yeah, we got one here, here, and then one out there east of the scope. Yeah, redo the uh, rehab. The rehab, yeah, yeah it's a rehab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So after Alan. So we're going to have four of them. Getting back to your voice, who's going to be in charge of you and I around with Alan? It's what he needs. It'll be Chris Cummers. Oh, he'll be the guy. Okay. Well, I don't know if I should have said that. But <laughs> That's why I'm happy. We can cut that part out. Yeah. I will. We'll I'll notify West. Yeah, that's what we're Yeah. He doesn't know about you. First of all, he won't be on for a while. I don't know. Well, yeah. it doesn't go to me. He. I haven't told him for so long. I've been in a room since. All right. We have a good um, day. I'll, um, I'll be in touch. Uh, um, we'll see what the weather's like, and I'll meet you guys up here next uh, Tuesday, and we're going to open there. Okay. And uh, you'll send me a, a list of email the properties for new subscribers. Yeah. Do you want me to? Um, you said that I'm going to be done and all you're done grabbing for it. Yeah, I'll tell. Next Tuesday, depending on weather, um, Mike's not going to be here for the mission meeting next next week. Um, depending on weather, um, Pat Anderson, Matt, uh, Bill, and myself 
Well, depending on weather, if weather's good, we may we're we're gonna go possibly on a tour of uh, area of uh, nuisances in Ashton County. Okay. So depending on weather, so you'll know 10 a.m. Okay. For a work session. You heard him say they're gonna create a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> we're all a nuisance. That's all we need. I don't know. That's it was addressed to Anderson County, but it's got our address on there. So it's U.S. US Department of Interior. It's about senior uh, pat me on. Look at that one. Well, it's, it's got, yeah, it's a good question. It's our address with the uh, Anderson County commissioners. Oh. Uh, that was my fault last week on the on the agenda. Um, you had a county logo. It was actually just approval of the R Association. What we're going to discuss. Well, see, Pauline did the agenda for me. Oh, okay. And, and uh, Pauline did the agenda for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, for the art. Or I don't know what they're doing with the open art, open air art. Or I don't know what they're doing with that. I think we'll just give them, give let them devise how they want twenty five hundred dollars for for both. They can use it if they want to use it all to one and none to the other. Okay, otherwise they can split their power. I'll second that. I think that's fair. Okay. Uh, motion a second. All in favor, signify saying aye. Aye.
I will report that that, uh, that Mr. Stafford is not pursuing his other job. So go back to where we started. So he called me. He put a pencil to it and didn't pay it, which didn't take me long. He told me what he was going to get paid for my own job. There ain't no way. He'd be lucky to get gas back, let alone the dump. Pull a camper, you know, pull a camper, but you're not going to get to that five miles a gallon that day. Okay. Thank you. I'm not in favor of it. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest about it. If it's that, maybe he, maybe he just needs to go rent one for a year and kind of see what. Yeah. 
have one conference room, but I don't think it's that big. It's in the the lab building. I got a fairly decent size, but it wouldn't be able to accommodate that. I don't know what they have in the other building. Right. Yeah. 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 More of a hollow crack would be about the only one I could Yeah, well, and, and, and that could be an alternative. You're just going to have to uh, find chairs and tables and stuff. So that's the case. Well, I'm sure we can have somebody up there or somebody. Sure. Well, I'll let, I'll take it back. She said maybe that's an option that they, they've used to be a W. Okay. So they may want to do it to serve the meal and stuff. Yeah, I was just thinking I like it. That'd be a good choice. We got your room fixed so you can get back there. Yeah. Okay. There's a couple options right there. I haven't heard back. I mean, I don't think this is actually. This is, the I think, it's the 50th year that they sponsored it. Do we want to do something for them? Yeah, we probably should. We should uh, check in and maybe get a plaque or something like that. I would think maybe. Yeah, we need to do it. To ask and the, the special thanks to the address because it, it's not with them, but I think it's the American Legion that helped with it too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll check with Paul and the show the whole history of it. Well, what we should do is, uh, yeah, well, never mind, another one. Um, oh gosh, not remonstrances. Uh, oh gosh, darn it. Yeah, let's help me with the term. It's not an award, it's not a remonstrance, it's a uh, What's the term? Not resolution. It's a proclamation. Proclamation. Thank you. We should do a proclamation, nonetheless, at the very least, for them, uh, proclaiming Ashton County Governor's Day in honor of them. Okay. In fact, I think if you do a proclamation with a you know, nice certificate, of what, that would be, and if you want to buy a frame to put it in, that would be as good as a plaque. Okay. That's on. Good. Yeah, it's probably good. We have, I think, probably to check with all these to make sure. I mean. I if uh, Martin was the to lose out on a potentially thirty thousand dollars contract, that could be detrimental. Now, whether or not that's for us to consider. I mean, they are tax paying local business, so there are some ramifications to save money on our end. So it's something that we would consider is operating renewal. Although my personal opinion would always be to put everything up to bid just for transparency's sake. Is Put it up to bid, put some qualifiers, you know, the local business came within 5-10% of the lowest cost, and, and everything else is equal, maybe you can do something like that. But I always would prefer awarding something on a bidding process instead of just renewing it, um, just because of transparency's sake as a, as a public entity. Not to say that Martin service hasn't been satisfactory. I mean, it's them offering a 40 yard, they pick it up when we call them and they dump it. They've done a pretty good job of that. So, um, those are the things that are going to be discussed. And um, one other thing if the committee doesn't feel comfortable having a decision or they want to punt it back to the commissioners, I, I can see that happening as well. Um, our decision point on whether we would issue the RFP or give notice would be next week. So if they funded it and the decision was left to us, then we'd have to make a decision this time next week. They, they offer seamless transitions in contracts. So um, I don't know what we, we touched on it last time in the Solid Committee and Again, it was a pun because that's not just a dollars and cents decision to be made. So, although there, there's, you can make a strong case for the financial, if only the financial case, then that would be a pretty strong case to make. So, um, so that's that's really. Um, How's their 
everything else out there going? Um, Are you on pace on your tipping fees? Or, I mean, I, I've heard stuff, you know, if there's not the trash showing up. Well, um, January's uh, death and ball bill, last year's death and ball, monthly death and ball bill was averaged about $28,000. Uh, January's was 24000 and February's was 19000 Now, those are our two shortest or lowest months year over year, and so that wasn't really that much of a surprise, and we can expect those numbers to increase. Um, but seeing as how um, with us not charging the city the full amount, um, we are subsidizing that additional, I think, seventeen fifty to get to our thirty dollar at cost. They pay twelve fifty. We make up the difference. Um, so the tipping fee, because they're our third largest, largest hauler, actually second largest now that that has kind of tapered off. The tipping fee isn't going to cover everything, cover our entire bill. Well, but I don't, yeah, I don't think that's the intent. I mean, the sales tax is, is, is still supposed to be there. should be 
mean, if, there's no abnormalities other than um, Devin Bob definitely kind of scale back what they bring. We don't see as many of their vehicles any, as much anymore. So um, that could represent some of the the client or the smaller bills, but it should be accounted for in the in the trash, and we should be well within our. Well, I'll definitely, um... It's not, it's, it's, it, this isn't, a, I guess, 
now, but that's the most time sensitive one. Is the, the and, and, I, and, I, and I think we've made great progress. I think we made made a lot of a lot of progress. It's, it's uh, you know, and my fellow commissioners, we we have have been afraid to look at and, and to scrutinize the spending that doesn't need to be unnecessary spending, and and I applaud for that. And uh, you know, uh, that's kind of what we're here for. Mm -hmm. uh, but we just made a transition this year. Now we're three months in, and if we're thinking about making another transition, just because a uh, uh, bid's coming out, I think I think you better really better think it through before they before they uh, make too strong a recommendation. So now that's my two cents. You think there's a chance that City of Indiana would uh, free up a little bit more sales tax money to help? I know that we've hinted at the possibility of whether it's uh, selling it to them for a cent or leasing it, do some kind of uh, agreement where the Effingham, the city of Effingham would then take over the Effingham transfer station, but I haven't heard any feedback or interest in that. And I think that's mainly because, as I've said before, it's the Effingham station, but Effingham, the city of Effingham isn't the only entity that uses it. It's the other city. The city, also city, the city, of, you know, the city of Muskoka uses it exclusively, and, and you know they have a regular route. I mean, they charge all the constituents, but they just hand pick out the trash. It has to be bagged and this and that. And, and of course they, they dump it free. They dump it free because they figure their sales tax money is covering the cost. You know, they they have to realize. That's having to be transferred to another station, and then, and then being transferred out. So I mean, I think if, if you sell that to them, uh, you know, I think they have to truly look at that. Don't get me wrong, but uh, and I think they would. But then when you get back there, then you got two other cities that are probably closer to the Atchison station. Mm -hmm. And then, and just to be honest, there probably some people in Lancaster wouldn't take their trash to Effingham if it was free. Yeah, I get that done. Um, I won't go any further than that, but I know some people that are that. I, I know that we have uh, discussed it. We've also thrown another couple policy options out there. Um, if we really wanted to, to try and make that work, we'd have to figure out something in the interim. We'd have to either extend the Martin's contract for X amount of time or do something to make that happen or else we stick with the, the three options that we have in the present. The thing the thing only thing I see about when you do put it out, it's, it's a little bit like there is that fear that, that one may become a monopoly over just a few little dollars per no more loads into a hole from there and then the next thing you you create in two or three years you create a bigger problem. I mean, mm -hmm. right. So I mean, there's that factor you take in. 
five hundred dollars right now and make it some arbitrary amount, but you still have to spend the time to go collect it, and you have to spend the time to you know, prosecute it. And they're really hard to prove. If you have to find trash that has some of these an envelope addressed to somebody, and gosh, you know, I threw that trash can. So yeah, I, I that think those are just things that we still have to continue to keep in the back of our mind. How much truth there is to it. Or the whole, the whole thing in life falls a little bit about around two is, I mean, if that transfer station, the true transfer station, is a whole lot closer to the center of the county, it presents a whole different issue than, than one could easily serve. But because of that location, it, it does present some, some issues for some people. And that's, I mean, it, it's hard enough for a few people up in my area, I me mean, sitting there and explaining to them all. Well, why are you taking my dumpster from the county lake? You know? Why don't they have one down? I mean, if you're going to have dumpsters set around that close, Bill needs to have one down his area. I figured that Aaron can ought to have one, and the Tony's ought to have, I mean, the next thing you know, you got five or six of those dumpsters, and then you want to talk about out of county trash, because the old boy from Missouri that happens to be going to Topeka is going to stop the Tony from throwing his trash off. Particularly if they're 24 7. Yeah. I mean, that's, so I mean, I, that's, I mean, yeah. At least, at least, at least, the FDM station is controlled hours, and, and, you know, whereas and the other one was not. So. What are the hours and days of the week at the FDM station? station is uh, 8 30 to 4 30 um, for uh, Wednesday and Saturday. So, and a few people have said if you close it, they, they'd like to see the long, little longer hours of boss and do it. I mean, I think that's just something we can look at and modify as we go along if it stays open because it, but it, it's, uh, uh, it is the push that works eight to five. Or, you know, they only have one day of the week then that they have a Saturday. And then if you have to have somebody who's a Saturday worker, well, they may not have, you know, there, there are people that work Tuesday through Saturday and then they, they're off, you know, they, mm -hmm. But you can't, here again, though, you can't necessarily accommodate, you're not going to be able to accommodate 100% of people. Don't get me I hear that about the Aspen Church, which, though, too. Yeah. How do you know the too? After doing the three months, I can tell you that in the last hour, we see negligible traffic. We see the last few people that call out at 3.30 asking when it's come, when we close, and then they you know, make a rush. Make a rush. Uh, keeping it open for an additional hour, two hours, that would I'd have to break down to what does it cost to keep it open for one hour. And and then you see. So you're hopefully some of that's kind of being tracked, and I think that's the one of the good things that's come out of this is you know, Bill's new. You know, we're all really somewhat new per se, but nobody seems to know know much of anything what was really truly going on out there. Until we, you know, years or so ago, started collecting the data on the, before we implemented the, uh, the solid waste assessment, I don't think anybody had a clue what was, mm -hmm. had any idea how much trash was, you know, well, how many feet behind it, and it was just an estimate. So, I mean, you know, so. Speaking of uh, hours, the, the Globe story, um, <laughs> Uh, I had reiterated that if there were two facts that you got right in the entire story, one would be that all vehicles weigh, have, have to weigh in, and the second is that we're open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 4, and it said that we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, so. We what is true? <laughs> it, it is a bad issue. There's so many things. What are you, what are you yeah. saying there? Come it, on. it is a factual it just statement. It wasn't complete. Yeah, and the completeness was kind of the, the point of it. I'm sitting here on Tuesdays from noon to three, and that's also the answer. Right. <laughs> See if that's kind of corrected. I, yes, I will definitely have that corrected. Um, they also, you said the. All things that we weigh was not done correctly too. It, well, it was the old sign and not the new prismatic sign that is bigger and more obvious. But uh, yeah. it, it made it to the front page. I can't complain about that. The, the 
as far as are you, are, you know, uh, because of cut personnel, I mean, are, are you able to shift personnel around? I mean, to comment on me because by having six days, it, there's definitely a, a, something that we know on one day. I mean, that's just all there is to it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, are you, is that falling into place pretty good? Or? It has. Um, then again, these have been the slower months of the year. Uh, we're trying to. 60 days. If we can get through May, we're, we're good. The staffing is adequate for the rest of the year. And um, I'm trying to make uh, set things up that will make, ease, make our job easier, things run a little bit more smoothly, and that requires us having defined responsibilities and things like that. And that's, that's a management thing. We probably are looking at a little bit of overtime in May because we also have something that we don't do right now is the ground maintenance, the mowing and things of that sort, and that's just that's time consuming. So whether that's done before hours, after hours, or we, as of right now, we can we're working really well with the staffing that we have uh, Monday or Tuesday through Friday. Those are our peak hours. That's when we're staffed. That's, that's when everything's working. If everything kind of falls in line with that, we should be good. Even if we see more volume, it just means we'll be a little bit more busy. But it's when we have to do more uh, more responsibilities, not just more volume and one responsibility. So <coughs> I think we can make it work. I really do. Because, I mean, busy is busy is busy, but, I mean, it's, it's well, not like going to work. It's only two, two days, though. <laughs> There's only two bases now, but it, it, it works. Uh, on Saturday we had 200 cars and one person on the floor, and it made it work. So we can make it work now, whether or not you're. Uh, you'll hear, uh, I'll hear about it, but. Um, well, and, and I'll be honest, technically, one person on the floor is all you should really need. I mean, if, if, even when you're busy, because, you know, unless it's a real handicap person and stuff. I mean, you risk a little life. I mean, that's, uh, you know, you don't want somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. You know, I, I, what I'm saying is, is, is not to make them look lazy, but I can understand why so and so may know what's in the trash bag, but they don't. And they reach and grab something with a piece of glass or something, and I've done this myself. Just, mm -hmm. no, and I knew this glass hit me next thing you know, you cut yourself or hurt yourself and stuff. So it was. Those people have to have a certain degree of responsibility themselves to to unload if they ask for help in the cave. But I mean, for the most part, I'm not counting We do it as a courtesy. It's not a requirement. Um, if somebody does request, then yes, we will help. And if we know somebody needs help unloading sectionals, then yes, we'll help. And, and I, I'm not presented as a if, if I was, you know, I would present not from the standpoint. Yeah, it, it, that's, that's why work gloves are a requirement and all the stuff that we're going to be requiring in the next two weeks. Gas masks and flammable They wear gas masks and flammable suits and all that. You know. <laughs> well, that works. That works. Transfer station, you, you wear everything. Face masks, goggles, everything. It's yeah. There are also 80,000 people, so. Um, the scale, I mean, is it, how soon does it do? Do they have to come calibrate or check it? Or um, it be? We should be good. Um, mm -hmm. Probably like annual inspections, do they have to do? Mm -hmm. We should be good to August. Yeah. 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 Um, and we're a moderate, barely moderate uh, use, so we're not, we're not heavy use. So it should be. That much, I uh, cause that much or anything, but we will keep on top because we do need to make sure that it, we're clear with weight and measures to be able to charge the tipping fee. So, Re regardless of whether you implemented the tipping fee or partial tipping fee, or whatever you want to call it, we need to scale. We need to be scale it. So, I hope the public truly understands you know, that too. That it, it's, it's, uh, and so something's in place if, if you go to a company 
still have, uh, next week I believe we still have some training left to do, mm-hmm. but as far as getting our bills in and everything, we're, we're good to go. It's just getting everyone on the same system at the same time is, I mean, we're having to wait, but three or four months, you know, maybe everything gets worked out and it works better than ever, but. How much more do we have? Now that we don't have the recycling center, um, we just have the Effingham station and uh, both sides of Neosho Road and then the actual transfer station area itself. So, if I wanted, I would say one full eight hour day, personnel wise, or you can break it up into four hour bits, but. Um, I get, I'm sure you thought that it doesn't make any sense, I mean, that you have, that if you shorthanded other people, which you, you can hire somebody for nine dollars or so an hour and don't have to pay any benefits, I mean, just from all we do if you had to. It, it would definitely be something that we should consider. Um, and just how often we mow is a safety thing, it's an aesthetic thing. But yeah, if we if we started to really um, need some help, then that would be something that we can consider. Just some, a temporary contract for landscaping and maintenance. So it would cost us less in the end. So I'll write that one down. Get a few numbers that I can call. Do we have a writing number on that? Mm-hmm. What do you say you mentioned to? Um, look at the land. Just if, 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 if they got too busy, what would it cost somebody to, what somebody would charge to come in? Uh, yeah. We have our maintenance and grounds crew. Do we have a maintenance and grounds crew? We're in bridge. No, maintenance and oh, our facilities. Oh, here? Yeah, like Joe and yeah, but Tom. Yeah. They, they do the answer to this place, I do we ask them? To see what we're doing. Yeah, you know, we need you know, checks on their time factor and stuff, too, because it's... What am I saying? I mean, it's, you know, if we've already got them here, I'll just check to see what their schedule is. Three recycle bins, is 
pay $140 uh, pickup for all three. Because there have been stories going around that that, that wasn't the way it was defined. I just want to get clarified. I, it's the ripple glass that doesn't cost the city right now. It, right now. We, it will cost us because we're at the end of our promotional, not even promotional, experimental and ripple glasses. We don't have something in writing going for they they may just end up taking our container because they're paying for it's uh, pick up and it's break right now. So our ripple glass representative definitely gets an earful about it every time the, they bring that up in the monthly meetings. Why is that just in so who gets the who gets the he gets the near soul from Oh, uh Donna Otter and the local boss representative that we work with and um, her bosses aren't happy that Atchison hasn't figured out a long term plan with their ripple class and that they're throwing all the costs right now. So we do need to figure something out through Deb and Bob to work with us, but yeah. But that's that's one thing they do not want is a single source for assignment. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Which yeah. is why Deb and how how is our how is our uh, Contamination rate doing so it's not an issue. Um, what comes to the floor is to put an arbitrary number on it, ninety percent clean, and what isn't we just kinda of pick out what we showed in the trailer. So we have really, really clean um, single stream that goes or co mingle sorry, co mingle that goes to the material recovery facility. And um, I think we can order up an audit from Death and Bond, see what we're bringing in proportional wise, and maybe that'll adjust our rebate a little bit. But have you so you never we haven't got a rebate yet mm -hmm. your recycle? We get uh, two hundred dollars based on last year's uh, fourth quarter uh, commodities. We got a two hundred dollars a trailer back, so it cost us eleven forty eight or ten forty eight. This 1041 to send it out with the $200, then you're looking at 841. And then, um, if we were to eventually get a tipping fee in place for recyclables, which we have make a few more steps to even make that possible, but if we were to get a tipping fee workable, we would break even at about our 600, what it cost to pull out a trailer. Because it cost 600 bucks, 618 dollars to pull out a trailer of trash. And so if we can get a trailer of recyclables that cost as much as trash, it it makes it solvent. It, it okay, now I'm lost. Uh, I think <laughs> well that that'll be that so that was goal. That was yeah. That <laughs> how do you get a tipping fee on recycling? Larry Meyer never calling O two one six. That's what the <laughs> resolution the last time we brought up the resolution we did have commingled uh, municipal solid waste and CND all having a thirty-five dollar uh, ton charge. Yeah, but say the city goes to single source. I mean, they're going to be the only ones you can really measure because, like everywhere else, you got that dumpsters place. People just go out there and throw their stuff in. How do you measure? Mm -hmm. Well, the I mean, it's a county container, so that doesn't apply. The we don't get the civic fee apply to that. It, like so somebody said, you think somebody's going to bring in a load of recycled. People that inquire, people that inquire about it. Oh, have there? Yeah. We, we should discuss we, that one. Yeah, we should have a little bit. Well, that's well, a good question. I mean, it's uh, something that needs to be worked out. That's actually something that we work out exclusively with the, with Death and Ball Collection. And if Martin was interested in offering, we we find a way to work that. Talk out. about certain times of the week or something. That this has been talked before. This has been a while back. But about the containers. No, about like how many people like come out there and like dump because we were talking. They were talking about like long term, like how the station would would function at there's a certain time of the day and certain days of the week that they allow other people oh, to come in with it. Mm -hmm. to recycle. Yeah, oh, but we never set no, we ever set that because we were still we're still on the front edge of. Okay. We got some coming in, but not. Yeah. And do you have any figures yet where our costs fall in recycling? How often are they? I'm quite sure the two different patches are more per se than the mm -hmm. They're hold out once every week, the, the two in town. Um, and then the Effingham one fills up once about every six weeks. So, um, 
I have something worked up that, that goes into last year because we had to pick up that, that uh, what was it September when RSV just picked up shop and left and we had that other two, but those are 13 costs. Um, You say every six weeks you pick up four million, mm -hmm. so that means they would have about eight pickups a year, maybe. I'd, I'd go seven. 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 Well, I'm going to do eight. Well, we, okay. Mike, with that, we, we paid, all right, did we pay them 15 or not? 18,000, yep. 18,000 a year, and we were spending their at 16. Um, if I, I figured once every two weeks, both dumpsters, that's eight times a month, times 12, I got about 59, I got 1456, 14,000. So we actually paid the I more. Guess. Actually, we paid more because we covered all utilities. We, the RSB, I mean, it's actually higher than 18. That's just the contractual amount. Sorry, we, we actually, it actually costs uh -huh. more than that because we had. We made the yeah, we had utilities, we maintained, we owned. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just I don't know what that number would be, but I'm guessing 20 some thousand. I don't know, or more. No, it would be more than that because. Oh, utilities utilities and, yeah. Utilities on that side, though, it's not in well, yeah. I mean, You know, even if they just kept it at 40 degrees, it's going to be. Well, it's probably closer to 25, 30. Well, it's probably cooler than something like that. Because the office. There's, there's not an air conditioning. Yeah. yeah. Be, you know. Well, the the main premise is that we're offering recycling in Effingham on two more sites as opposed to one site. Yeah. And the the other thing to consider, assuming it's two thousand um or it's the fifteen thousand for the containers and then we figure those get brought to the the transfer station which goes on to the monthly bill and we're sending out about two more so all said and done, the, this system, while expanding, the, what we offer does cost a little bit more, and if it continues to expand, then again, we're, we're going to have to have a discussion with Jeff and Bob about recycling, which they've, they've kind of uh, been open to it because the city's going through their RFP process, so there's, within the next six months, there's a possibility that all the known variables can change and we have to start back over. So I can well, just I make sure that we're not wasting money. That's all I can guarantee yeah, right now. You know, you know here again, this is, this is another one of these things in the station. Financially, why do we even recycle? But there's some people who feel good about it. It's probably the right thing to do. So how much are you going to touch tonight? We're still less than what we were paying, so we've made progress. And so that's definitely the only point I was trying to get at. I'm not trying to put uh, anything on the spot. If it's solvent, it's good. If it's costing us normally, if not, intelligence do. And that's what I'm trying to say. I just can't believe that if it is truly the great thing, there's, need, there's more money, there should be more money in, in those commodities if it's the right thing to do. But I guess that's just the